Hey guys, this video is all about making money at Finnair. Yes, it's all about cryptocurrency mining. Yeah. Okay, relax. There's not that much money on this fella. You make about 20 cents a day as of today, and this guy can get you about three to four dollars a day, which is it's better. Hmm. But with this great power comes a great responsibility to pay the electricity. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not making that much money, but it is a bit of fun and you know, maybe these coins might be worth a lot more in the future. Over the last year it's jumped in value 10x, so ooh, next year it might be 10x, so $40, what's up? <laughs> Alright, you want 400, 4,000, 4 million, I know you do. I'm going to show you how to set this up on your computers, how to do some mining, how to earn that 20 cents <laughs> and $4, how to do it on Mac, Windows, all that kind of stuff. So join us today. Alright, first up, mining on your Mac. On Mac, I tried out a few apps, including Mac Miner, Zcash Miner, Parity, Minergate, and Bitcoin Wallet. Unfortunately, I couldn't get any of them working with my GPU. For GPU mining, which as you'll soon discover, is far more profitable, you'll need to switch over to Windows, and I'll go over this in the next section. The easiest mining app to use out there was Minergate. It already has pools you can easily join, lots of different coins you can mine, and integrated wallets to collect them in. To install, simply head over to the website, which you can find using the link in the description below. Once downloaded, open up the DMG file and copy over Minergate to the applications folder. Once launched, simply type in your email address or sign up to start mining. By default, it will automatically pick the most profitable coin, which for me was Monero. You can also go ahead and benchmark your computer to see how good it is compared to others. This is how my Mac Pro did. Let me know how yours does in the comments below. In the mining tab, you can manually select which coins to mine and how intensive to go at it. You can also find more coins to mine by clicking select all or by going to the view menu and manually selecting the coins you'd like to see. My personal favorite coin to mine is Bitcoin as at the time of this video, it's currently trading at 0.005 USD. So if it moves, it'll be very profitable. Getting into how much you can get for Bitcoin is around 360 hashes per coin. On my MacBook Pro using the i7 from 2016, it maxes out around 16 watts. If I turn it off, it drops down all the way to 3 to 5, it just floats around that area. So it's around 10 extra watts to mine on the CPU, and the hash rate you get, as you can see, is around 70 80 hashes a second for bitcoin but the good thing is it only increased the wattage used by the mac by 10 watts on my mac pro using a six core xeon cpu from 2012 it gets around 150 hashes which means 1.5 coins an hour so if i turn on bitcoin mining with all 12 cores you see the cpus go to 100 percent and it powers at 150 watts so it's 150 watts and that's getting you 150 hashes a second. If I were to power that down to only one CPU, the hash rate goes down. But as you can see, the CPU has already powered up to 150. And it will only go down if you stop mining. So the most bang for buck is just using everything, though it probably wear out your components faster. Over on the GPU, you start mining with all four you're getting 600 hashes a second and it's using a hundred watts so for a hundred watts you could be getting 500 to 600 hashes a second instead so it's more bang for buck mining on your GPU no you can also install a custom mining BIOS on the graphics card and yield up to 30% more performance however it will affect the graphics cards performance negatively in other areas such as gaming so if you're thinking of mining on Mac without a GPU, the MacBook Pro will get you around 20 Bitcoins a day, which is around 10 cents USD in today's prices, but it uses minimal electricity. With a GPU like the RX 580, you can get around 150 coins a day, which is close to a dollar a day. But of course, hopefully by the time you watch this video in the future, these coins may be worth a lot more, fingers crossed. As you collect coins, they go into the wallet provided by Minergate. 
You can convert them over to currency. However, a small fee will be charged if you do this. You can also transfer them over to your own personal wallet, which will live on your computer. To do this, you can use a free app called Jax. Once installed, simply select the coin you'd like a wallet for and it will generate an address. You can then use the address when sending coins to it. But note, to transfer money out of the wallet, you have to pay a transaction fee. And this depends on how fast the transaction occurs with normal speed costing around 10 USD. On Windows, you can still use Minergate, but now with the GPU unlocked, if you have one. As you can see, using the GPU gives you a massive performance over CPU alone, with the RX 580 graphics card giving a 4x bump in hash speed over the CPU using the same wattage. Nope, I'm using a free app called HW Monitor to monitor the power usage. And one of the coolest things I found with Minergate was that I could actually play games while mining in the background. And let's see what it's like with some mining happening. GPU. Begin. Let's go. On Windows, there's another cool app you can install, and it's called Nice Hatch. Nice Hatch isn't as user friendly as Minergate, but the rates are much higher. Also, note it was recently hacked, so bear in mind that when using the service. To install NiceHash, you need to select which graphics card you're using. For me, I have an AMD graphics card, so I installed the AMD version. Note, this also works with a CPU. For my setup, my graphics card was detected out of the box. However, if you're running more than one card, you may need to edit some of the config files. After running the app, you'll need to run a benchmark to see which algorithm runs best on your system. Before you start, you'll also need to fill in your target Bitcoin address. You can get one by signing up for an account on NiceHash, and by using a NiceHash wallet, you'll get faster payments than using an external wallet. As a publication, using a NiceHash wallet, I was getting paid every $10 rather than $100 if using an external wallet. After copy and pasting in your Bitcoin address, you can also choose the region and to give your computer a name, then hit start. Free money, here it comes. When mining, the RX 580 used an extra 100 watt in power, but was giving me around $3 a day. The MacBook Pro's 6 core Xeon, using an extra 100 watts increase in power, was getting me almost $1 a day, while the MacBook Pro's i7 would get me almost 20 cents a day with a 10 watt bump in power. Unlike Minergate, however, NiceHash hits the system resources a lot harder, and I was unable to play games in the background. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this introduction to mining. If you have any questions or would like a more advanced tutorial, for example, on buying coins from exchanges or mining using custom pools, please let me know in the comment section below. And thanks again for watching.